Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, a concept called data governance. So we'll understand what is data governance and we also understand uh, what is the goal of data governance in an organization. And also we'll look at uh, how a data governance team is formed. So what are the different roles within the data governance team? And also we'll look at okay, what is the responsibility of those roles and also the different activity that particular uh, role performs okay, in a data governance team. So now let's get into the actual slides. Okay, as I said, like, you know, let's start with, okay, what is data governance? Uh, if you notice, it is nothing but a set of practices and processes that ensure effective management and control of enterprise data asset. Okay, I'm, I'm sure like, you know, this is uh, like, you know, sounding Greek and Latin, okay, to a layman. So to break this down, okay, in a simpler term, so it is nothing but it is overall management of the data availability, data usability, data integrity, data security, data privacy, and data retention within an organization. So basically the data governance team is responsible for all these different uh, uh, key activity within an organization from the angle of data. So now we looked at uh, on a very high level, okay, what is data governance? Now let us understand what is the key goal, okay, the data governance team, uh, like, you know, take up okay, within an organization. Yep. So the key goal is, uh, so a data governance team goal is to establish a framework and rules that defines how data is collected, uh, stored, processed, and shared across the organization. So those are the key goals. If you noticed how the data is collected, how the data is stored, how it is processed, how it is shared. For all these activities, there has to be a standard framework and rules within an organization that every function within an organization has to follow. And to make sure that is followed within an organization is the main goal of a data governance team. Yeah. So now let's look into the team of a data governance uh, within an organization. Like in how a team is formed, like, you know, what are the key roles uh, a data governance team would take up. So to start with, the first is data stewards. Okay? Uh, and the number two is data quality manager. Number three is uh, data security and privacy manager. Number four is data lifecycle manager. And number five is uh, metadata manager. So now what we look into is uh, for each of these roles, uh, we'll go into the details of what is their responsibility, what activity do they form okay, within a um, like you know uh, organization. So as I said before, like you know the governance team, that is the data governance team, is a cross-functional team. Uh, they will be centralized people, but also they will be team. Uh, there will be also people from different functions. Let's take finance as an example, there'll be one member assigned from a finance who would be part of the data governance team so that any standard rules uh, or framework what the governance team is forming, so these has to be incorporated at every different function. And that particular person who has been assigned as a SPOC, that is single point of contact, would be responsible for that particular function to make sure this is followed. Yeah. But let's now look into what is a data steward like you know what are the key responsibilities basically a data steward okay, will be overseeing and managing the data asset of an organization so if you know uh, every organization has a lot of data asset so if it be finance or marketing or like you know any kind of uh, function within an organization they collect a lot of data it can be from their customers or it can be from their vendors it can be internal data within an organization. So all these are considered as considered as data assets. So this particular steward is responsible to oversee and manage the data asset of the organization. Yeah. So the key activities, what this data steward would do is probably documenting like in all the data assets, defining those data assets and classifying so that okay, the retrieval becomes easy uh, and also the data steward is responsible for ensuring data policies and procedures uh, 
uh, like you know uh, any other data related issues are resolved and ensure compliance within the relevant regulation okay, that the company has to follow so that is the main role of a data steward uh, within an organization yeah uh, sorry you could within the data governance team within the organization and let's look look at data quality manager the main responsibility is to ensure the quality and accuracy of the data is maintained yeah so any data that comes in or like you know asset what you're storing if the quality is not good this garbage in garbage out so for you to get good insight or the for the organization to get good insight from the data this quality and accuracy of the data has to be managed uh, in a very good manner so that they can get value out of the data what they collect so the task the data quality manager would be doing is establishing data quality standards so the standard has to be maintained that has to be followed by every different function within an organization and also implementing data validation rules uh um, doing some kind of data profiling just to understand like you know uh, uh what is the key stats of the data and if there is any unclean data they have to clean it and make sure all the data is uh, cleansed and of good quality and finally okay monitoring the data quality metrics okay within the organization so these are the different activities a data quality manager would do and the next one okay is data security and privacy manager so this is a key role uh, because of the various regulations okay in different countries especially in the uk and uh, eu we have gdpr okay so this particular person should be responsible to make sure everything from the angle of data that has been collected stored processed and shared within an organization is within the regulation and the policies of gdpr as i said the main responsibility is establishing policies and procedure to protect data from unauthorized access breaches and misuses so you don't want the data what you have to be breached like for example if you take a bank a uh, lot they have a lot of customer related okay financial information so the data security and privacy manager within the organization have to make sure this data is not authorized to access by un like you know unauthorized users let's say my bank account is with hsbc probably another person should not get access to my account and that has to be made sure by this uh, particular role uh, they have to put policies and procedures in place so that uh, there is no unauthorized access breaches or misuses so the main activity as i said like you know what they do is they will implement security controls define access permission encrypt of any sensitive data for example if the bank is taking any of my sensitive personal information they have to make sure it is encrypted because as per the gdpr rules so okay, no one can get access to anybody's sensitive personal information in case of breaches happens okay there's a big problem for an organization and they have to pay a lot of fine and also as i said they have to ensure compliance with the data privacy regulation like gdpr moving on okay the data life cycle manager so the key responsibility is to manage the entire life cycle of data from creation or acquisition to its archival or deletion so any data that is captured okay it has to be made sure from starting till end has to be managed in a proper uh you know organized way and this particular role is responsible for that the key activity what they do is they will uh, define data retention policy which is an important clause within a gdpr uh, uh, regulation so uh, like you know the company has to have a clear policy on the retention of data of the people they collect from uh, and uh, they should have a proper data archival and backup procedures in place and it should be documented and also any data that has been disposed in uh, it has to be disposed okay in accordance with the legal and regulatory requirements how it is mentioned in the regulatory uh like you know uh, how it is mentioned in the regulations and finally okay the metadata manager so this is also a key responsibility uh of a data governance team i mean sorry key role within a data governance team because the metadata has to be managed properly because if you want to access or do some kind of analysis within the data you have got if this this if this is defined properly or any consultant or any internal people who come into the organization to do some kind of uh, machine learning or like you know different kind of analytics 
with metadata proper metadata management they can easily understand the data landscape what is there what is not there uh, so that uh, they can easily uh, think about how it can help uh, the business to improve their overall uh, efficiency and effectiveness so as i said uh, the responsibility is to manage the information that describes data attributes structures and relationship and the main activities done by this particular role uh, is creating and maintaining metadata repositories and uh, defining metadata standards establishing data lineage and data dictionary practice so what do i mean by data lineage is like you know uh, it is the flow of data within an organization where it has been captured where all it is flowing and uh, where it is stored so all those should be in uh, fingertips for an organization that's what the responsible of a metadata manager so i think uh, these are the main introductory topics i want to touch upon okay data governance okay, for you guys okay in this video i hope this would have been useful probably i will dive into more detail explanation of data governance uh, in another video uh, where i will take an example of a organization and try and explain that i think that's it from my side for today if you like this video go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and like this particular video thanks a lot okay have a good day guys bye